what is going on guys welcome back to another video this time I'm doing a private pick from a lady that met me at my antique booth and she says she has some pretty good stuff so let's see what I can find So yeah, welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, for those of you that are new here, I'm a reseller based out of the Houston, NASA area. I basically find things at thrift stores, auction houses, um, antique malls, friends and family, you name it, anywhere I can go. Estate sales, garage sales, you name it. Um, and I try to find deals and share that knowledge of what I do find that's worth pretty good penny to the viewers so y'all know what to look for when you happen to stumble across them this uh, video here is about a customer at the Alvin Antique Mall when I was there doing some work on my booth and Tanya's and she wanted to let me know that she had some items such as uh, vintage vinyl and comic books and maybe some toys some old vintage t-shirts whatever and she's looking to unload them at a pretty good price she said just to get them out of her hair so I am going to see what she has and it just goes to show like I've always said networking pays off you got to let people know what you do and you know make business cards share your phone number whatever it doesn't matter um, or you know email if you don't prefer them knowing your phone number but somehow stay in touch with people because eventually they might stumble um, and find it on their end and then sell it to you or they already have it and they need some cash for whatever reason and they know who to call to sell it so that's where I'm at right now and I'm on my way and hopefully I'll film there if not I'll film segments while I'm looking through the things so you can see what I'm finding and wish me luck. So I am kind of out in the boonies. I had to drive 30 minutes. Oh yeah, so I'm out in cow pastures. Uh, Manville, Texas, which is close. It's like bordering Alvin. And it's like a 30 minute drive to get here. So let's hope that I find something that make it worth the drive. It's not every day you see a donkey during a pick. Yeah, yeah. Make a noise. No. I spoke, I spoke too soon. There's goats too. Let's see. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Are they friendly? Hey. So I took a slight detour to buy some carrots at the grocery store. I'm at a Kroger. Wait till I see what I do with these carrots. Hey, this is Travis, and he's going to feed Honky Donk, better known as Beth, some carrots. Oh my, doesn't she like the carrots? Is that like her favorite food? <laughs> yeah, she loves carrots. Oh, hey, there's one down here. You, you let it fall. All right. Here, has anybody ever Ooh, done this? Be careful. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And she's saying, she's oh, like, that's I've been silly turned man. down by a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm here with the this goats. Is Marie. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they're definitely uh, not and shy about getting fed, that's for they sure. Were... It'd be funny, you give one one on one side, one on the other, and do like a tug of war. <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> Uh, uh -oh. One of them gave up. Okay. See, if these are my, my goats, one will be called Bolo and the other one will be called Barter. <laughs> Bolo yeah. and Barter. I don't know which one would be which, but that would be their names. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can get a headbutt. Is it recording? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> it sure is. Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> I was trying to get a head butt it, but he didn't want to do it to me. Don't forget, y'all, I'm only 35 subscribers away from the $50 giveaway that I'm doing on the previous video. All you got to do is like and make a comment, and you're automatically entered, and there'll be two winners. So don't forget to do that, and let me... Um, Go ahead and end the video here. I know it was a kind of a National Geographic one with some rare, I don't say rare, but unique animals that you don't necessarily see all the time during a pick. So I thought it'd be fun to show that. Um, you never know what you'll come across while you're going to a private pick, which I'm glad I did. Networking pays off, guys. Let everybody know, including your family, friends, whatever, of what you do because you never know who's going to call or text you and say, hey, I'm tired of this, come get it, I'll give you a really good deal. And that's kind of what happened with the records and um, the comic books. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. If y'all see all the comic books that I showed you, what am I gonna do with all that? Y'all tell me, what do you think? I'm thinking of making lots and selling them on eBay and groupings, because I can't do them. One at a time is gonna just absolutely kill my time. I don't have I don't have the knowledge and I don't have the time to price every single one of those. There's like 1,500 plus comics. Some of them are gems, some of them are just commons basically. So we'll see what happens and thanks again for watching. Y'all take care. Tell them thanks for watching, Zoe. Thanks for watching? Let them know. Say something. All right. She says thanks for watching, guys. Well, my birthday falls on November 6th. Came here for a couple days. I'm in Oklahoma at the Windstar Casino. See if I get lucky for my birthday little out. We are on our way to, to the break the casino. First yeah. day. <laughs> get our gambling card. Make sure we got our crab available to us. Yeah. And then good. she's going to figure out if she wants to eat first or gamble first. What do you think? I think we should do an hour and then come, then go eat. Now we're trying to find the dancing drums because she had fun and good luck on that one before. Yes. Any input, Mom? What do you think? I think I can do it. I think I can do it. So we're at our spot having some fish and chips. So far, not too much uh, luck, but come on, Mom. Give me a synopsis of what's going on. This casino is being bad to me, but he's good to try. So I'm going to try out. I'm going out after eating this and hope my luck will change. Six dollars.